Right, so you're probably wondering, why the hell am I doing another tier list, even though I made one one month ago? Well, uh, honestly, the last one I did was bloody terrible. Um, I missed a lot of weapons, um, simply due to because uh, the weapons weren't actually on the tier list, and I didn't realise this, and that's why it felt rushed, because I wasn't paying attention. Also, my opinions on some of the weapons have just changed completely ever since I've just started, like, experimenting with different weapons so yes i'm doing it again and hopefully this one's better and <laughs> more people agree with me and uh not disagree with me anyway uh birth of dead eye that's b tier for me still one it's this is personal preference don't i don't actually like the dead eye scope um it just feels wonky to me but the birth of it is a good gun so i'm putting both in b tier because it's cheap it's a long ammo weapon long ammo bow action weapon um uh, yeah, decent fire rate. I've, the eye sights are pretty good. Uh, downside to it is um, free bullets, and if you don't have bullet grabber, uh, it's awkward to use. Uh, bomb lance. Um, this was in my last video. I'm putting this thing A tier. Ever since they added the new shotgun ammo type thing on this thing, I'm not even kidding. One of the best close quarter weapons in the game. Um, that that those shotgun rounds on this thing is so devastating. It, honestly, probably the most reliable one tap weapon, uh, one tap shot type shotgun in the game now, in my opinion. Uh, I just felt like this thing consistently one-shot people compared to any other shotgun in the game. I know that sounds weird, but that's just how it felt for me. Bornheims, I hate these guns. I'm putting this one in B tier because, like, in my opinion, it's decent with the stock because the the massively reduced recoil. But the only reason why I don't like them is they 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 just feel so weak. Um, three to four shots sometimes. It, it, sometimes two shots if you hit them directly in the chest, but you have to be very close to them. Um, this it also the gun's really wonky. The recoil's awful. Um, that's why this one's B tier and these are two, these both, both of these are a C tier, because the recoil is awful on them. Chain pistol, D tier, I hate this thing, never used it, well I have used it, but I never use it because it's just terrible. Uh, even with fanning, it's p bad, I hate it. Uppercut's A tier for me, because, I mean, if it, this would, like I said in my last video, this would be S tier, I would have said this is the best gun in the game, but, but the price changes, it's gone to A tier, because, like, it's so expensive now. I used to run this thing with um, shotguns, and now with the, the, the double price increase, uh, it's just so expensive to run. And uh, I still use it, um, just not as much. Uh, is that that's the conversion pistol? Uh, beat it. It's okay. It's cheap. FMJ makes it a lot better. Uh, I just hate the, um, the I hate the gun sound. I know that, I know that sounds weird, but the gun sound it's just it sounds like a pea shooter. And it feels like a pea shooter sometimes. It's weird, I don't know, but it, I can't complain because it's cheap. And FMJ makes it a lot better, so putting that in B tier. Pax Claw, honestly, I've never used it, but I love the packs now. Pax, in my, my, in my opinion, is A tier. Like, with the, with the addition of FMJ, and finally they gave this gun FMJ, I don't know what took them so long. Um, it, it feels like an uppercut. It feels like a new uppercut. I know that sounds weird, but the packs to me now feels like the new uppercut because of how cheap it is with fmj it has 96 meter headshot range now which is mad most of the fights in this game happen uh, happen within 100 meters so the pack just feels really powerful now with uh, fmj and um yeah to me it feels like the new uppercut also they buff fanning on it it's really accurate and um there's a lot less recoil so van on this thing's pretty nuts now so yeah pax is a tier now before it was b tier but now it's a tier i absolutely love this gun i've been running a lot of my videos uh yeah it's beast gun i love it uh, it's that like Cold Rival. Honestly, this thing's S tier. With the current, I don't, know, I don't know if it's just me, but shotguns right now feel terrible. They just don't one tap anymore. It takes like two shots to kill them. Uh, the hit reg is just, to me, it just feels really off lately. And yeah, shotguns just don't feel consistent right now. But the Rival though, S tier, simply because you can just shoot both barrels cl really quick, quickly. So it makes it the most reliable shotgun right now, in my opinion. This is, at, okay, okay, this is going to be so weird. This is going to be weird. This is B tier, only with slug rounds. This thing's good with slug rounds. Buckshot, not so good. Slugs though, it's kind of good actually. Um, so yeah, that's B tier. Um, I don't know if I should include melee weapons, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Saber for the price is crazy. Not only for players, but bosses as well. Um, especially like Scrap Beak and like the, the Assassin. Uh, not so much for the Butcher or um, or the Spider, but. A tier, uh, it's a really good melee weapon, especially for the price. It one shots players uh, if you do the heavy attack, and uh, yeah, also it just looks looks cool. Uh, combat axe again, um, 
Mm, I mean, with the sword, you get really good range with it. You can actually kill um, the the armored um, uh, the uh, what's what they call it's the concertina um, armorers. You can kill them without taking damage from them with the sword, but you can't do that with the axe. Even though the axe is like, even though these two on in terms of damage are almost the same, you get more range with the sword. So yeah, sword bear, in my opinion. Okay, now this, in my last tier list, I put this really low. But with the shock bolts, I would put it A tier with the shock bolts. But since it's so hard to use, I'm putting it in B tier. Like, it's a, it's not easy to use the shock bolts. But when they hit, they kill them in one shot. It's crazy, but it's hard to use. So B tier. Crown and King, I put S tier in my last, last video. Best shock in the game. Next to the rival. Um, hefty price tag, but my god, this thing's overpowered. Um, yeah. Dolch as well, both are S tier. Best gun in the game, in my opinion. Um, this thing feels like a bloody rifle. Uh, the only problem with these are they're expensive. Um, and the ammo is very limited. You have to loot special ammo crates to get them. Um, actually, now, now I think of it, that's making me reconsider these. They're only S tier, simply because of performance. But if I was thinking like logically, I would put this one S tier and this one A tier. That's like the only logical thing I'll do. Ever since, like, I, I just thought about it. Ammo is the main problem with these weapons. Um, but if you ever kill a player and they have a Dolch, always pick it up. Best gun in the game. It's broken. Yeah, I never buy these guns because of how expensive they are. But when I see it on the ground, I am 100% taking it. Brass Knuckles, honestly, F tier. Heavy Knife, F tier. Knife, F tier. This is the only weapon in the game that made a weapon. Like, that makes sense in my opinion. If you're not running the, the, the knuckle knife, like, what are you doing? You're playing the game wrong. Run knuckle knife. I, I actually, I would love to someone to comment explaining why these are good and better than the knuckle knife. Because I don't think you can. Um, but yeah. Uh, I could be absolutely, I could be an absololute idiot. And it turns out the yeah, heavy knife is S tier. And I just don't know it. But from what, from what I know, this is the only made up in the game that makes sense, in my opinion. Um, the tiny crossbow. I'm not even kidding, is B tier. Do you know why? Because for some fucking reason, this thing one taps in close range in the chest. Like, even better than shotguns sometimes. It makes, like, it just makes no sense. But yeah, um, it has a slow reload, but you can literally just hold an angle, and if someone walks into it, and you just, it's gonna kill them one shot. It's, I don't know why, it's so dumb. But yeah, only if you hit them in the chest, though. It's only if you hit them in the chest or the head, it one taps them. But it's quite easy to do, especially in close range, so that's B tier. I'm not even kidding. The bell. A tier, I mean, 10 rounds, good fire rate, decent price tag, and good iron sights. But the Mosin is better, in my opinion, because simply because of the iron sights. A, a Labelle Aperture, I mean, you can turn it off or off, uh, off or on. Uh, yeah, can't really complain. It's these two are basically the same weapons. The Hurt Labelle Marksman, though, is S tier. This thing feels like a cheat code. If you have... Um, uh, I forgot the trait it's called, but you see where you don't come out the sight after firing a shot. I think that's what it is. But this thing feels like a cheat code. It's nasty. Uh, the bell talon, again, A tier. The, I just feel like these three bells are just the same with just some tiny differences. Uh, Lamat pistol. I've stopped using it. This thing's beat it. Ever since... I don't know. I used to use this thing a lot with like a spark sniper because of the underbrow shotgun. But recently, it just sucks. Um... Yeah, so I'm putting a B tier now. Machete, honestly, I've never used it, so I'm putting left tier. The, the bow, okay. A lot of people, there's someone in my comments who keeps telling me to use a bow. I want to use the bow, but I'm so bad with it. I'm so bad with it. But I have seen people do some nasty stuff with the bow, and a lot of people use it. Like, a lot of people use the bow. I don't know why, but they're probably, probably because they're good with it, and I'm not. But just because I'm simply because I'm bad with it, and just, you know, this is personal preference, I'll put it in D tier. That's only because I'm bad with it. Um, Martini Dead Eye. Again, I don't like I don't like Dead Eye scopes, but the, the Martini is pretty good. But I'm putting these in B tier. Martini Marksman. I've never used it, but I can imagine it being pretty good. So I'm putting it in B tier. Uh, Labelle Repost. I think no, not Labelle. Sorry, Martini Repost. That's a really good strong melee weapon. Um, so yeah, I'm putting it in B tier. Automat. Right. Uh, pff, I, I don't know. C tier. Simply, okay, I'm not saying it's a bad gun. It's not a bad gun at all. But the amount of stuff you need to actually use to, to make this thing like run at its full potential. Like you need two dual sparks, 
uh, ammo crates and you need that frontiersman i think it's called the trait where you can carry two ammo boxes that's the only way to make this gun actually like be good to have all that ammo and that's a lot like that requires a lot so yeah i'm putting it in c tier uh a tier i guess i mean it's, the bayonet's cool and all, but like it's still amazing. Like you can't complain. Like the bayonet's just a, a, a plus, you know. This thing's bloody terrible. Put it in D tier. Um, I hate I hate the sword off uh, Mosins. I hate them, so put them in D tier. All right, this Mosin though, it's going S tier. Why? Because the iron sight is a god tier. They're amazing. Uh, five rounds, decent reload speed. I mean, it's good. You can't complain. It's the best bolt action in the game. However. The crag just came out. And I don't think the crag's on the list. No, I don't see it on the list. But the crag is honestly better than the Mosin. I know. But I think the Mosin has a superior range. But most, like, like I said, most fights happen within 100 minutes anyway. So with the crag's fire rate and reload speed. And you don't need bullet grabber for it. It honestly, in my opinion, opinion it's better than Mosin. So... If the crag was on the list, which it isn't, I might just edit it in. It's here. It's like it, it's it's better than the Mosin. It's S tier, hundred percent. It actually changed the meta. There's a lot more people using crags than Mosins now, in my opinion. Mosin sniper though, that that's a cheat code. Like this thing is so easy to snipe with. It's ridiculous. It it, it generally feels it cheating sometimes. Uh, this pistol is actually amazing with high velocity. It's quite hard. It's quite tricky to use because of weird fire rate, but it's actually when you land headshots with it, it's satisfying and it works. Like it for the price as well. It's so good. So that's A tier. I got pistol though. This mm, not not so great. Officer Brawler. That's B tier. That's a good pistol. And a decent melee weapon on it as well. Carbine. All right, okay. I'm putting this one B tier. But I'm putting the Marksman one A tier. These are really good. Like really good. I used to hate on this thing. But ever since I've gotten decent with it. Like I understand what, why people use it now. I mean there's not many people that run this gun. I don't know why. But when I see people using it. I'm like. Respect, you know? It's a good gun. Mosin Mace, um, pff, I don't like it. Officer Pistol. A tier. My, probably one of my favorite pistols in the game. It's just so consistent. Like, it's such a reliable gun. You can run this with a sniper and it's going to you know, it's gonna be your boy, you know? It's your backup. And it's good. Uh, Nagant Precision. Mm, B tier. I mean, I can see this being good because there's no recoil. So it's quite good for headshots. So yeah, I'm putting that in B tier. Right, right, I'm putting this S tier. Why? Put poison ammo in this thing, and you can kill most of the mob in this game one shot. I'm not even kidding. So, the immolators, I think, I think that's what they're called. One shot headshot with the poison, bu poison bullet. Uh, armories, one shot headshot, poison bullet. Like, hives, I don't know if that if that's going to one shot them in the chest, but regardless, it's going to kill them in the head. I mean, like every gun does that though, so. <laughs> yeah, so I'm putting S tier, because it's, 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 I mean, it's decent for players, but it's more of a tool, and it's a very handy tool, so S tier. Nitro Express. Oh, I love this gun. I would put this S tier, but my god, the price tag. And also you need shred ammo with it to make it more of a consistent one tapper. But my god. S tier. Now that's pre that that's personal preference. Alright, if this was like an actual if this was based of like logical re like sense, like it would be probably be B tier simply because it's expensive, high skill gap, you need shred ammo, which is an extra $225. Um, yeah, that's a lot. But I'm putting S tier because I love it. Um, Derringer, honestly, I've never used it. So I'm going to ignore that. Romero. Um, again, it's one of the most reliable shotguns in the game. Very cheap. It has a very good one-shot like, capability. Like, I, I feel like this... I always get one tap by the Romero, like, in close range. But, um, yeah, so I'm putting that A tier. Because it's, it, it's so cheap. It's consistent. Um... Yeah, can't complain. Uh, it has actually it actually has one of the longest ranges out of all the shotguns. Could be, I could be wrong with that though. But yeah, that's really good. Romero sort of put slugs in this thing and it's decent, so B tier. Uh, same with the hatchet one. The hatchet's a good melee weapon. Put slugs in it and it's good. Romero Talon. I mean, it's it's the same. These are, I feel like these are the, kind of the same weapons, so they're putting it, both in A tier. That's Scho Schofield. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, I don't like the Schofield. I hate the iron sights. Um, the iron sights. Um, FMJ is okay on it. Um, yeah, not really a fan of it. I mean, it has um, quite a fast reload because you, you can empty the, all the bullets out of the gun instantly. Only if you've emptied the gun. So, um, I mean, that's a plus side. 
Uh, the precision one's pretty good though. I mean, that is pretty good. The swift. Now, the reason why I hate the swift because I always forget that I have a swift and I accidentally reload and empty all my bullets into the floor. So that's the deed here. That's my fault though. Spitfire though, honestly, the best pistol in the game, next to the packs and uppercut, obviously. But um, this thing is just so good. Good fire rate, good damage, good range. Put FMG on it and it's even better. Like you can't like it's good. It's just honestly so good. Like I like the packs. But if I feel like if I want to be more aggressive, I, I use this pit fire easily. Yeah, so they're up there. Sparks are A tier. I love this gun. It has very clean iron sights. The gun sounds amazing. It has a slow reload, but it has the highest damage next to the nitro, one of the highest damages in the game. So if you have poison ammo in this, it's even more brutal. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Spark Silencer, I love this gun, but it's B tier because that awful velocity, awful iron sights, and uh, and massively reduced range. But it, it's fun to use, you know, but it's B tier. Spark Sniper, I, I'm putting this thing in S tier. Why? I love this gun. I've, I've used it a lot in my videos. Um, it's cheap. $199, I believe it is. I could be wrong. But um, yeah, I love that thing. I just love smart snipers, like the long range ones. And the Spark Sniper is just amazing. Terminus. Now, I've I've made a video on this shotgun, cl claiming that it's the best shotgun in the game, but only because it's cheap. It's like the best price to performance shotgun in the game because it's cheap. It's pump action. Um, yeah, you, you you need bullet grab with it if you want to conserve the ammo. But honestly, this thing shreds. Um, put put flash out on it even better. But but the reason why I'm putting them B tier, like I would have put A tier. Because of the price of the performance, but right now shotguns are weird. Like shotguns are really inconsistent lately. Um, I don't know. And the terminus just feels like crap now. So I'm putting it in B tier. Um Terminus Bayonet on it, I'm pretty sure it reduces the range because the barrel is shorter. So I'm actually putting that in C tier because ain't nobody using that. This one's even worse. No, I don't even use that. Unless you're using slugs in them, of course. Slugs make them better. Now the Springfield, I'm putting in B tier, but you can, um, with Dum Dum, it's A tier because it does a lot of bad damage and it also makes them bleed. But I don't use this gun very often, so I'm putting in B tier. These variants are awful. Uh, actually, no, the Dead Eye ones are terrible. The Dead Eye's not terrible. This one's bad though. And these, you could put Dum Dum in these and be more like quite aggressive with them. But honestly, why use that when you can use the long light version? You know, Springfield, Springfield Marksman. I've never used it, but I can imagine that being pretty decent. Oh, the Carambina, I think that's called. I could be saying that wrong. Um, this is B tier, the Iron Sight version. Same with the Bayonet one. The, the Dead Eye is A tier. That, that thing, this thing with high velocity is really good. Uh, even even though I don't like the Dead Eye scope, it's still really. I can't complain. It's good. I haven't used the Marksman one, but I can see that being good. The suppressed version, probably the best suppressed gun in the game. Could be wrong, but I can imagine that being the best one. So yeah. Terminus. This thing is only good with levering. Without levering, it is trash. So if you have levering, it's a B tier. Even though, even with levering, it still has like the slow reloads, the the, the massive spread. Um, yeah, but with levering, B tier. Without levering, it's probably a C tier because it's, it's just so shit. It's so bad. I hate it. But with levering, it's a B tier. Is that, the, is that the Winfield Aperture? Now, I've never used it, but I can actually imagine that being quite good with higher velocity. So I'm putting that in B tier. Winfield for bayonet, B tier. I mean, it's, it's, you can't really complain. It's, it's, still, it's, still, it's still the Winfield, but with a bayonet on it. Now, putting this thing is putting the Winfield Deadeye in, there in C tier because one, sort of guns are crap, but the Deadeye scope kind of make, makes, it, makes it a bit better. Is that a sort of top F tier? This, this, this thing, this is the D, D tier. It's, it's trash. It's, it's just don't, just don't use it. It's crap. Winfield B tier. I mean, I mean, it's just the most reliable gun in the game, isn't it? The Winfields. That's the full length version. That's A tier. Put, put a higher velocity on that one, and it's crazy. That's A tier. Um, Winfield. Okay, this is the Centennial. I'm putting a B tier. I think the Winfield, uh, the long version, this one, this the the, uh, small, the compact ammo one, is better because if you put high velocity on it, it matches the performance of the Winfield Centennial in terms of like accuracy and range, but obviously with reduced damage. But the fire having that like increased fire rate 
over the Centennial. It's like, it's so much better in my opinion. The Centennial is good. It is good, but with the fi increased fire and, and having high velocity on this, uh, on the wind field, it, it, it's just better in my opinion. It's just much better. Uh, Marksman's wind field, um, it's B tier. I've, I haven't used it, but again, I can imagine that being pretty good. Winfield, suppre uh, the suppressed Winfield, I hate it, it's crap, but 9C2. Centennial Sniper is massively underrated. Uh, no one ever uses this gun. I don't know, don't know why, but it's massively underrated. It's actually nuts. Um, I recommend people try this out. Really good. Uh, don't like this gun. Sword of Winfield is trash. So, oh, oh. Winfield Swift. Now, I haven't used this at map that much, but that reload speed is crazy. Like, high velocity on this thing, and yeah. It's crazy. I don't need to explain that one. Win Winfield Talon, I mean, that's still A tier. Put, put, put um, high velocity in that, and it's still the same as this, but with a Talon on the end. Still really good. Recommend that. Uh, and then Winfield's, like, the Sword of Winfield's crap, but no C tier. I mean, yeah, I like them. So now, with the new, the three new weapons are out. They're not on the list, but I will add them. So, um, the Crag is S tier, easily. The Lamat Carbine is B tier, it's not that great. And obviously, and, and the new Martini, um, I forgot what it's called, but it's, that's A tier, that thing's really good. But even though it has the god off iron size, but that fire rate with that long ammo is nuts. It's really good. Um, so yeah, I would, I would put that A tier. But um, yeah, that's the new and uh, updated tier list. Hopefully I've corrected my mistakes from the last one and improved this one. So yeah, that's the updated tier list. That's where I stand now for all the weapons. Hold up, uh, I forgot two guns that weren't on the list. Uh, and that is the slate shotgun and the Coldwell Nuan pistol. Uh, I'm going to put the Slate in B tier, uh, same with the Spectre, um, because they're both I, they're not identical, but they're very similar, um, but I think the Spectre is better, because it, it, it's like half the price of the Slate, and with Bullet Grabber, it's, they're almost, they almost perform the same, so I'm going to put the Spectre, uh, Slate B tier, um, yeah, because uh, it's, it's an okay shotgun, but a bit expensive. But for the new iron pistol, I'm going to put that in A tier. Because that, that thing's actually really good with um, either Dum Dum or FMJ. And it's a really good sidearm. Like, if you're sniping, the new iron pistol is a good sidearm to have with you. So yeah, I'm going to put the uh, new iron pistol in A tier. Right, that's the tier list. Um, hopefully, this one is uh, better and actually watchable. Because I made so many mistakes in the last one. But yeah, that's my tier list for the current meta of hunts. Thanks for watching.